what you're looking at here in this band of rock, this is called the Morrison Formation. And the Morrison Formation is a really large band of rock that covers a large part of Western North America. So Western Canada, Western United States, and it's really famous for the quantity of fossils we find in it. Now in our rock, our minerals are a dark brown or kind of a maroon. What you're looking for are shapes in the rock that have that coloration, that dark brown or that maroon. And you will see all of these are dinosaur fossils. And if you come up and touch them, you'll notice that they're really smooth compared with the gritty sandstone that they're housed in. So fossil, 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 a whole bunch of these. And what this is, it's the site of a riverbank. And the river that used to run through the area back in the Jurassic would meander, just like rivers do. And it carried down rocks and branches and whatnot, bones. And when it turned, part of the, the water slowed down and dumped things out in a big pile. So we don't have any nicely articulated skeletons here. What we have is a little bit of Stegosaurus, a little bit of Allosaurus, a little bit of Apatosaurus, a little bit of Diplodocus, just mis mishmashed all together. And so you can notice when you look at these fossils and you start to see what you're looking for, they're everywhere. Yeah, there. There's a huge one down here. bunch of them here. They're everywhere. Now we don't know what a lot of them are because they're broken fragments or they're just still in the rock. We haven't excavated the whole thing yet. We do know a few and I'll show you a couple of my favorites and then I'm going to let you kind of look and explore as well. This one is really cool. It's the cross section of a bone. So it's part of a long bone like an arm or a leg and if you take a cross section and you, you're looking straight down it yeah that's what you're looking at you can see where the fossilization in the middle mm -hmm. is a little different than the fossilization around the exterior of the bone what's in the middle of our bones yeah, yeah it fossilized differently yeah. than the bone around it you can see that we also have a vertebrae backbone from a dinosaur Right in this recessed area of rock here, this little cubby, this is a dinosaur vertebrae, which is kind of neat to see. That's really cool, I totally see it. Yeah. yeah. And we have a stegosaurus plate. Remember when I said stegosaurus was discovered here? Mm -hmm. The fossils were found at this site. And when they pieced all the fossils together and tried to figure out which dinosaur was which, and they saw these bony plates, you know, the ones that are on its back? Yeah. And they didn't know what that was. Only dinosaur to have them, really, that, you know, at the time that they found. So they, uh, they laid them down like this and thought it was tiled like a roof. So they named it Stegosaurus, which means roofed lizard. <laughs> They're not even lizards. Like, the whole thing was wrong, but yeah. the name stuck. But those bony plates, if you take, take one, put it on its side, here's a oh, Stegosaurus yeah. plate right there. That's Stegosaurus plate. Yeah. So I'll let you guys look around and see what you can see here. Kind of discover some things. Happy to answer questions. I, like I said, I only know what a few of them are. Those are some big ones. When was there. everything yeah. kind of uh, excavated? Oh, yeah. Time, well, 1876 is when they discovered the site. Mm -hmm. And uh, they called in, they didn't call, they <laughs> probably wrote letters to <laughs> some paleontologists on the East Coast, Dr. Marsh and Dr. Cope. And they came out here and they excavated over the next. 10, 15 years. And I mean, they took out hundreds of hundreds yeah. of fossils. Really. And are they on display somewhere else? Yeah. Out in New England at Yale University, oh. most of them are at Peabody Museum, although a few of these are at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. They might not be on display all the time. Sometimes they're in the archives. Um, but there's a little museum about a mile west of uh, south of here in Morrison. You guys know there's a natural history museum, and they have several of these boulders from which they are actually now working to extract 